Starting and growing an online business can feel overwhelming. Trust me, I know. But it actually just comes down to mastering a few simple skills. Today, I wanna walk you through what those skills are, all the way from identifying the right people down to how to use social media properly, especially if it's just you or a small team. This video today is being brought to you by Cloudways. If you're at the point of needing to build a website for your business, which is something we'll cover here in this video, Cloudways is who I use to host all of my websites. I've used a ton of different hosts and different platforms to build websites. There's only one way I do it now, and I always do it with Cloudways. We'll talk about that a little bit later when we get to that point in the video. For now though, I need to start by talking about one thing that we're not covering in depth in this video, but that some people are gonna wonder why I didn't, because it is a valuable step in getting traffic and getting people to your business. And that is paid advertising. Yes, that's a valuable skill, but paid advertising is a huge waste of time and money if you haven't already done all of these things. And that's the problem that most people get wrong. They do this totally backwards. They're like, hmm, I have something I wanna do, something I wanna sell, let's run some paid ads and get people there. Do this stuff first and any ad campaign you do is gonna work way, way better. Let's get back to the skills you actually need for growing your online business in 2025. The first one, identify your avatars. What we're talking about here is figuring out who are the right people that you should be targeting with all of your content and all of your advertising. Now, you may not be super picky about what customers you're going to have for your business, but there are people that are better suited for whatever product or service it is that you're trying to offer than other people. And identifying avatars starts with figuring out who are kind of those ideal people, maybe starting with ideal demographics, but also then what are ideal personality traits? What gender and age and social status and all these different things, but, but dive in a little bit deeper. What concerns, what cares do the right people have that are going to want or need what it is that you have to offer? So we can start to kind of group those together but let's take it a step further. As we go through the rest of these steps, it'll be really helpful if you're able to keep these people in mind. And the easiest way to do that is to not view them as a big group of people, but to view them as a person. So for a group of people that are all fairly similar, let's say I've picked one of the groups <laughs> that I wanna target because we're all gonna have more than one, but I pick one of those groups that is a good fit for me. And I create a single person, a single persona, a single avatar. We can even give this avatar a name. We do this here. When we create video content, if I tell my team, hey, this video, I feel like it's really well suited for Eric. They know who I'm talking about. And then when I'm making the video, who am I thinking about? As I make this video, I actually have a specific person in mind. And so as I'm talking to you, that's who I'm thinking about. And that makes it a lot easier for me to talk to you in a way, to create content in a way, in the future even to make advertisements in a way where I'm talking directly to you. And anybody who kind of is closely related or kind of fits that persona is gonna feel like they're the one being talked. So start with that. Before you do anything else, start with that. Once you have an idea of at least one, but probably more like three to five avatars for your business, then we can start doing some more of the actual building up of different things, which is what we're gonna get to right now. The second skill you need, <laughs> or the thing you need to get done to set up a website. There are lots of different platforms that people are using where they're like, well, my business is kind of on this platform, but it's not their own website. And they have very little control over what's on that website, how it looks and how it functions. You don't want this. What you need is a place of real estate on the internet that is yours, that you can control. This is actually gonna legitimize your business a lot in the eyes of a lot of people, especially younger people. These days, most people don't wanna to have to call a business to ask basic questions. They wanna be able to find that information. They expect to find that information on the internet. So if you can provide that to them in a very easy, simple place on your own website, the odds that you're gonna win their business go up compared to all of those other people who still don't have one, which is a lot of people. Now, some important tips for a website. One, keep the design very simple. Building a website does not have to be hard. Again, there are lots of platforms that make this really easy, but many of them are also very limiting. That's why I actually created uh, something called Amplify. Amplify is actually a membership that we have that has a ton of course content that walks through step by step by step by step. Literally all the things we talk about in this video, we're talking about how to build a website, the design. Literally, I built it in a way that you could hire a summer intern <laughs> and they could follow the steps 
and you could have a good website in a summer internship period, in addition to social media and other things that we're gonna talk about in this video. If that's something that you think would help you and your business, again, something that you could do yourself or that you could put a minimum wage employee working on, then I encourage you to go check that out. I'll put a link in the description of this video and I'll pin it in a comment below. But when it comes to building your website, keep the design very simple. What we really wanna focus on is steering people toward the right actions. The information that they wanna find, make it easily available. The simple questions that people are likely to ask you or that you get asked all the time about your products and offerings and your business itself, make those easy to find. And the homepage of that website should very clearly steer people toward exactly where you want them to go. Pretty much everything else is just noise. Now, like I said earlier, Cloudways is the sponsor of this video. Cloudways is the hosting provider I use for all of my websites. You can start a WordPress website, you can start a non-WordPress website on Cloudways too, but I use WordPress on Cloudways so that I have ultimate flexibility, but also a platform that makes it really easy. In my experience, Cloudways provides the very best value for what they charge. I spend a fraction of what I used to spend with other hosting providers, and I actually get better service, better support. Just last week, actually, I had an issue on one of my websites, and it was a big deal because it brought the site down for a little while, which is a big deal when you're in business. You need people coming to your website. And all I had to do was I went to Cloudways. I tried to troubleshoot it a little bit myself. I did some quick searches. I opened up a chat. The chatbot tried to guide me through some things. And I just said, this isn't helping. Give me a person. And in just a few minutes, they found and fixed my issue. And I'm not even paying for like some high tier premium support. I'm just a regular user. On some of the hosting providers I've used before, I would have had to submit a ticket and potentially wait a full day <laughs> and say here back. And that doesn't work very well when your whole livelihood is on the line and it's down. I'll also say that your site going down, it happens way less on Cloudways than it happened to me with other hosting providers. So like I said, I've been with them for a long time because they're so good and the value is so high. Enough about Cloudways. Let's get back to the website building. On your website, what we want to do is we want to create really helpful resources for people. We don't need to write hundreds of blog posts, but content on your website, this is a key starting point for more of what we're going to be doing in the rest of this video. So if there are questions that people are likely to ask, things that would be helpful for your target customer, for your avatars, you want to go help create some resources that you can put on your website and make available for these people. It's going to set you up really well for the next stuff. Speaking of which, the next one is to get on Google. Now, specifically what I'm talking about is Google local search. You just create a Google My Business or a Google Business listing. Just Google, Google my business, and you'll be taken to exactly how to do that. For this, all you need is a Google account. It can literally be your personal Google account, but I recommend setting up a Google or a Gmail account. It can be a free one, but it should just be one that's kind of dedicated for your business. I think it's good to keep business and personal a little bit separate. And then it's actually really simple. We're just going to provide them with the basic information about our business, including our business website. You're gonna put in a little description of your business, what your hours are, how people can reach you, what sort of offerings you have, the area that you service, all that stuff. And you know what that's gonna do? It's gonna allow you to rank when people do a local search for people that offer the services that you offer. This is a great starting point. It's by no means an end point, but it's a great starting point. But setting up this Google business listing also has other benefits. What it does is it cues to Google that you are a real legitimate business. And if you're a real legitimate business, your actual website is also more likely to rank for searches that are relevant for all that content you just made and for the services and stuff that you offer. It's going to take a little bit of time, but the Google ecosystem is going to pick all this up. Now, the other cool thing is that everybody knows that Google's first and Google's top, right? So once you've created your Google business listing, you can go to Bing, which is Microsoft's search engine. It's the number two search engine in the world. Well, after Google and YouTube, but outside of the Google infrastructure, it's the second biggest one. And then you create a Bing business listing. And you know what's cool? Since Bing knows that Google wins, they can literally just copy over it. You can just say, I already have a Google business listing. You can connect it and they can copy everything over and sync it with your Google business listing. It's so easy. Business reviews are gonna be the biggest thing to drive your rankings in local search. So once we have this Google business listing, we need people to start talking about you. So any client or any customer you've ever worked with, if you have any rapport with them at all, reach out and ask them for a review. I highly recommend, this is actually depending especially on the type of business you have, but another great platform is Nextdoor. Nextdoor is another one that's very local based and you can say what your service area is and stuff and people will talk about your business 
you could potentially get a lot of business through Nextdoor. You don't need to spend a lot of time on any of these. It's mostly just set them up so that there's a place that people can talk about you. That's all we want. I don't want you to waste a lot of time curating those from here on out. We're gonna spend more of our time on the next things. The next one is to capture leads. What I mean by this is as you start to get people who are warmed up, people who find your website, people who come across your content wherever it is, you want as many of those people as possible to get on a list <laughs> that you can then follow up with. So what we wanna do at this point is create some sort of very simple lead capture system. Now there are a lot of easy ways to do this. Using an email marketing platform is great. I recommend Brevo, which right now is actually having a Black Friday sale. They're having a big discount on their annual plans. But if you're just getting started, you can actually create an account for free and start capturing email addresses. What we need though at this point is we need some sort of resource or some sort of offering that makes people want to give you their information, their email address, their phone number. Because if you have this information, then you can follow up. I don't recommend doing what a lot of businesses do, which is sending out way too many emails way too often. What I do recommend though, is sending out something of value that your potential customers would benefit from having. A resource, a piece of information, not just promotional materials for things that you have to sell. Give them real value in emails that you send out and they'll stay in your email marketing system for the most part. But start by creating something, a giveaway that you can give them. It can just be a piece of information or you can just promise them the value of what they're gonna get. Maybe it's a monthly, newsletter. And that newsletter will have industry updates or it'll have really helpful advice for the people that would be your target customer. Sell them on the value of what they're going to get and then they're going to want to sign up. For some businesses, I've seen this work really well, retail products, especially like health supplements and things. You just offer them, you get 50% off your first order, you get it using a coupon code that you're going to get in your first email. <laughs> and then they sign up your email list and then the emails that you send them, you just let them know every time there's going to be a sale, every time there's a new product offering, that kind of stuff. And they're usually pretty happy with that because discounts, who doesn't like discounts? Either way, you've gone through the effort to bring people to your website or to get them to see your content. And we want to capture as many of those people as possible. You don't wanna to have to rely on those platforms to continue bringing those same people back in. Once somebody's in your ecosystem, let's try to keep them in your ecosystem and keep them happy. This is also a pretty easy thing. You just, once it's set up, it's set up, it's done. Then all you need to do is come up with what's the content that you're gonna send out every so often. And that doesn't have to take much of your time. Keep it simple. Then the last thing that we need to do at this point, pick one social media platform. A lot of successful businesses today they're doing some form of social media marketing. That doesn't mean that you have to run paid advertisements on those platforms, although that may come at some point. But first, what we wanna do is just get involved in social media. But especially if you are a small business, especially if you're a single person operation, it's too much to try to be everywhere. Pick one and learn that platform. This is another place where that avatar or your avatars really come into play. Where are these people on the internet? Where do they spend their time? Every social media platform has groups of people that are most present on that platform. If your product and if your business is something that's pretty visual, then Instagram is probably a good place to be. Or if it's something especially kind of crafty, Pinterest is absolutely somewhere that you should be. If there's how-to and tutorials and things you could talk through, YouTube is an amazing platform. If you're interested in doing YouTube, please go check out our YouTube channel called Channel Makers. That is what we teach over there, and we teach it really well. If your topic is something that it would make sense to be able to talk about a lot and interview experts, and if that's something that you are confident that you could line up people who are expert or well-known, or if you have a credential yourself, then a podcast can be a great thing to get started. But pick one and get started with one. If your business is something more professional, well, you definitely want to be on LinkedIn. I mean, there's no reason a crafty business can't be also on LinkedIn and can't also be on YouTube and Pinterest and everywhere else, except that your time is limited. So pick one, get good at it, make sure it's the place that your avatar is most likely to spend more of their time, and that's gonna be a great fit for you. Now, as you create content for social media, for your website, focus primarily on building trust with your audience. You don't need to be to have an account that goes viral. What you need is to have an account that when people come to, they find what they're looking for and they trust that the things you're telling them are true. Be helpful, be trustworthy. Those two things, they're gonna win you real business. So quick recap, we wanna identify our avatars, get to know who our target audience is, 
get your website set up, get it on Google, get those local listings set so that you can start ranking quickly for local searches, start capturing the leads, those hard earned people that come to your website, keep them there and then pick one social media platform. And we're gonna use that to drive more and more and more traffic to that website, capture more leads. You see how this all works together? but we wanna build them in order. Then with all of these in place, then we can start thinking about paid ads because we have something to talk about and we have somewhere to send people and we can capture them as a lead. Without all this stuff, again, paid ads are just a huge waste of your time and money. Now, this was a high level overview, but if you're ready to dive in deeper on any of these things and learn how to do it yourself or somebody in your business to do it for you, great. You can save a ton of money. Most agencies are charging thousands of dollars to set up simple websites, and it's kind of ridiculous. That's why I created Amplify. I mentioned it earlier in this video. Go check it out. The value there is, Im is immense <laughs> for what you get, and the cost is incredibly minimal. So go check out Amplify because it's gonna show you how to do all of this stuff. And if you're setting up a website, go check out Cloudways. I'll link to that in the description too. Now remember, when it comes to your business, when it comes to everything in life and growing and improving, it's all about progress, not perfection. Take one step at a time and don't compare yourself to anyone else. The only person you should compare yourself to is the you from the past and see how far you've come every day along this journey. And you're gonna recognize the growth that you're making and the growth in your business. And it's going to be incredible. Go one step at a time, you've got this.